Hi, Ben here from Visual Dev FM, and I just wanted to walk you through our blog template that we are uh, giving away here. So this is the homepage, and I have an example hero. This is pulls from a collection list, and it, it's limited to one item. So we're just showing one item on on uh, the uh, hero section, and you could you know, come in and use, I'm, I'm showing basically the, the newest featured post, but you could change this up however you wanted. Um, and in my blog post collection, I do have, you know, name and the body, a summary, thumbnail and main image. I have colors, so a background color and a text color, author, categories, and then that featured switch. So we're showing a featured one, featured post, so the newest one. Um, and then I have below this a grid. This is for, you know, if you had a portfolio, um, maybe of projects instead of just normal posts, or maybe if you're a photographer and you wanted to show off images, um, it's just an, a nice grid of images, pretty clean with a footer. So that's the home page. And then on the, the uh, traditional layout, so this is more of a traditional blog, so it's the navigation. And then the post with just a short summary, you know, information about when it was posted, who wrote it, um, a link to go straight to that post, you know, and a sidebar with categories and authors, um, and then you know, a footer. So this is more of the traditional layout. Um, and then we have the business layout. So this is, you know, if you kind of had a business that you were setting up for, um, you know, the menu, maybe a feature a team member or a person, uh, call out, you know. Uh, going to try to get um, people to give us their uh, email address so we can add them to our list, an area where they can learn more about what you do. And then the blog posts are laid out in kind of this full width section and you can use the background color in the post and then the text color to set uh, all the colors here on the buttons, and the font, the background, and then a meet our team section which shows the team members and links to their social media and then the footer. So that's the business layout. Um, and then I have a card layout here. So this is just uh, the same post, but just, you know, in that card layout. So it's um, you kind of a grid of different cards. And then if you, you know, jump down to different sizes, you know, it just falls right down. Um, and so you have all those different layouts that are available to you there. And then also have a style guide. So in the style guide, um, we have the the nav bar and the footer, and those are symbols. Any change of those are changed site wide. But we also have typography styles. So here, um, if you wanted to change all the paragraphs, you could select all paragraphs and style those. Also on the body, um, you know, we have styles here where we set our fonts and line height and all that. Um, we've styled all the block quotes and then all of the headings. So all of our headings are in there. And then links and buttons, all links. And then you don't have an all buttons selector, but we just created a class called button and styled it here. And then on forms, it's the same thing with inputs. Um, if you just add the class input, it will style those and you can change those styles here. Same with labels, except you can choose all labels. And then we have uh, the button here as well. And then here we have the blog text. So there's a rich text element with blog text. And then if you select different items in here, you can say all of the list items that are blog text. So um, blog text. So it doesn't have to be all list items throughout the site, just the ones inside are blog text. So we can actually change link colors, but just the ones inside our blog text. So have this set up, uh, block quotes, etc. So you can come through and and customize this then of course the footer so this is how you change the style I would try to make it really neutral um, but you can definitely clone this go to town do whatever you want with it um, and then password and 404 but we also have a um, blog post template so a title we have the content here uh, categories who it's posted by um, when it was posted and then author information and a footer. Um, and then we have a place for you to put in comments. So there's a separate video from this one that shows how to insert comments into your blog. You'll definitely want to check that out. Um, and you can find that on the about page of this site. So if you're looking at this clonable, um, that's where you'll get that. So we have that. And then we also have 
uh, categories template which shows all the posts for specific categories and then we also have a team members template which shows all the posts for a certain team member so um, so that way if people clicked on a team member they're going to jump in and see all the posts written by that person um, they click on a category they're gonna see all the posts that fit in that category so um, it's just a kind of a really basic overview um, in the videos uh, we're going to show you how to that go with this so in the about section there'll be a video that shows you how to add social sharing a video that shows you how to add comments and a video that shows you how to add like uh, an image type zoom that uh, exists on mediums uh, site so uh, check those out well uh, and, and learn from those and you can add those pieces here into the site I've already added most of the the zoom is in here not add this because that's specific to your account um, but you can add yours yours in comments is the same way I'm gonna show you how it's not in here but it's set up for you so um, if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out to us on social media at visual dev fm or you can reach out to me at riley richter so uh, visit us visit us at visual dev fm to to get more uh, free resources and uh, this clonable Thanks for watching.